coming on to two important uh, concepts one is rehabilitation the other is hypnosis we have covered rehabilitation separately in our lectures on rehabilitation psychology but just to have an uh, introduction here what is hypnosis hypnosis is a mental state which is made up of series of instructions so a person is in the altered state of consciousness the person is not in the real state of unconsciousness but uh, it is in the altered state of consciousness now a person under hypnosis would uh, explain everything as they feel so the person's attitude would be usually uh, receptive at this point of time without any uh, efforts without any effort of imagination uh, 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 things can be actually revealed by the personality in the state of hypnosis the amount of pain that a person feels would significantly decline and uh the person who is under hypnosis would be able to focus on certain thing would be open to new experiences and is usually imaginative so what is done is the patient is laid down and um, the the psychologist actually interacts with the patient and slowly tries to help the patient focus on a particular thing now once the patient focuses on the particular thing the whole concentration of the patient is on to a particular thing probably a, a a ball swinging and with that the person enters into the stage of hypnosis now once the person enters into a stage of hypnosis then whatever is asked is being revealed from the real inner self so it's a unconscious state the person would speak truth what is in, in the mind of the person but it is a altered state it's a not a real state of unconsciousness it's not similar to sleep but here the person is unconscious but it is an altered state and therefore it actually is a mental state where realities can be achieved and uh, at this point person since is in a, in a different state of unconsciousness is open to new ideas new experiences accept uh, new suggestions and have a better imaginative world the next is rehabilitation now rehabilitation happens when when there is an injury or after an event so person tries to improve any functionality of a person which is lost or which is uh, diminished during that time of injury or trauma or event is to be recovered during rehabilitation now with this rehabilitation we we tend to intend that there is minimum psychiatric impairment uh, adverse personal reactions are reduced and the person gets a confidence and increases the self esteem to gain success in life so rehabilitation actually helps a person to resume the life back to the normal settings around in the world and get out of that trap of um, of difficulty where the person is not able to understand or to cope up with the existing situation so rehabilitation helps person to attain their normal life situations uh, routinely any kind of impairment which has been caused has to be uh, uh, one through confidence and gaining success over it is the only way to adopt oneself back in life so those are some of the things that we have understood under rehabilitation now to summarize this lecture we have talked about somatic therapies electroconvulsive therapies psychosurgeries we have talked about biomedical therapies where drugs are commonly administered so anti anxiety anti psychotic and anti depressant the commonly used drugs and then we have talked about hypnosis the altered state of unconsciousness and also we have talked about rehabilitation when there is an injury or a trauma how person is trying to get back or to improve the functionalities which the person has lost over the period of time and to make person confident that the normal routine life could be resumed in any of the therapies that we have discussed so far the ultimate aim is to help person live a normal healthy life by all means and therefore all these therapies the basic intent is to actually make the person occupied in the work to make the person much more engaged in the work and ensure that there is no significant um, uh, uh, stress or anxiety or depression in the mind of the person that could 
further lead to disorder so all the therapies whatever therapies we have talked so far uh, be it the pure psychological therapies the psycho medicinal therapies all of these therapies intend that the person lives a quality life improves the way of life improves the living uh, and is having higher self esteem with better self confidence is able to live back to the normal life scenarios and ensure that there are no further issues with the routine life that a person is actually undergoing